Hey guys, thank you for clicking on another one of my videos. If you guys watched last week's video, which was my second MCAT vlog, you know that I left out a bunch of the clips because the video got way too long, so I apologize for that. This is basically a kind of a summary of all the resources that I've been using or have been using so far, um, what I've been doing, as well as like how I set up my desktop, what I'm doing day to day, just so that you can get a little bit more of an understanding of what Again, you might be doing. I did put a disclaimer in my last video, so um, please go watch that whole video if you want, um, but especially that disclaimer. Um, but it's basically me saying that, like, don't compare yourself to what I'm doing. Um, this is just an idea for when you're prepping to do it, or if you're stuck on what to do for yourself, or if you're in look looking for new resources to use. Um, these are just some ideas, but this is by no means, and I'm by no means an expert. This is my first time too. So thank you again for watching this video. I will see you guys later on. Decided to use the Kaplan books. That's like basically what everyone else uses. Um, but I also have exam cracker books at home so that I have some more like supplemental stuff, especially for physics. Um, I was told that exam crackers would be good if I was having troubles with physics and that the questions in the exam crackers books are good. So I have that as like supplemental content for when I get more into like practice questions and honing in on the stuff I don't know. Physics and Gen Chem are one of the thicker ones. So is biology. Biochem is pretty thin, which is really nice because I don't like biochem. I don't like physics either, but here we are. Or Gen Chem, honestly, I only like biology. <laughs> Basically my schedule um, in May, right before I started studying of like what I was going to do. Uh, and I basically just took it off something online that recommended ways you can study for the MCAT and how to schedule it if you're doing 12 weeks. And I made it knowing that I'm going to need more time at the end. Six weeks content review, six weeks practice questions. In terms of cars, which I know everyone gets stressed out about, is um, I do like one to two cars, passages, a day when I'm doing content review, and then when I do practice questions, I'm going to do three to four. In terms of other content that I've bought, obviously I bought um, Kaplan books, exam crackers books, I bought the AMC bundle, so that's like all the practice questions, practice tests, blah blah blah. Um, I bought UWorld for practice problems, um, I just bought like the 90 day subscription, use Kaplan to get into the Kaplan site because if you buy like old books, which yeah, by the way, I bought Kaplan and Exam Crackers on Facebook Marketplace for like 40 or $50. Dollars. Other free resources that I've been using, there is Khan Academy, worked with AMC to make this whole MCAT prep. So I use that as like practice problems while I'm going through. So I'll do like a chapter and then I'll do the practice problems and I'll move on to the next chapter, do the practice problems. And then um, the next morning I will do um, my U World practice test. Khan Academy has like really great videos. They literally have everything. Like, every topic is just boom right there. Um, and they have the videos, of course, and then the practice problems that come with each section. There's like review sheets that I found and um, an anti deck that I will do on the bus or when I have free time. Uh, I try not to stress too much about like finishing the review cards. I just do it as I like need to do it or have time to do it. Um, because I don't think Anki is the best way to study for the MCAT personally. Um, the MCAT is very much an applying yourself test, whereas Anki is very isolated learning and um, it just doesn't, it, it doesn't make sense to me. Under 10 of the chapters in the Kaplan Physics is physics, the rest is like research, uh, well, it like kind of overlaps with chem obviously, because those sections are together, but research, execution of research, math, so it like takes you over exponents, and log rules, which is useful, but it was like a quite easy day for me, a quite, quite an easy day for me yesterday. Um, it's thick, but it's like light work, you know? Believe me, physics days are the worst days for me, and chem days, I don't like chem either. For some reason, electrostatics was really difficult for me, and both my brothers are electrical engineers, or so in school for a little black end, and they like sat down with me for two hours, and at the end of it, they were like, I don't know what to tell you, but I was like, hey. Because the last two chapters I did weren't really in, um, like the AMC 
content categories. Um, there's actually not really any questions on them. I don't have your world to do today. Um, so I'm just going to start getting into my notes. And yeah, yeah. I'm like very excited for this to be done, but I'm nervous for practice problems because five weeks of studying better do something. You know what I mean? Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. This guy I went on a date with last year, last summer. I like, I love hate easy. The reason, also another reason why I didn't come here is because I didn't want to run into people from my past, really. But I just like, didn't, I, I don't, I don't enjoy seeing people like used to know, you know? I, I've never seen anyone, especially because I've been in this room. Um, I used to work at IGP, which is like a library here. Um, it was a really pretty room, but um, there's way more foot traffic here, there's literally none. So I don't see anyone anymore, but when I was biking down here from the bus loop, I saw some guy I went to the David, and he was talking someone else, thank God. But I literally had like a mask on my headphones, I was like, hey, hopefully he doesn't recognize me, I just zoomed by him. Um, it was really nice, just not like, was well, not my favorite date. But he's not watching this, I don't think he would. Um, anyways, um, let me show you how I like set up my desktop. Okay, so I think you can see the vibes, you know, <laughs> good vibes, good, good vibes. So this is my schedule, it's stressful. Don't look at it too much. Make your own schedule. It looks really overwhelming because I cross things out and like I don't want to stress you out. Don't look at that. Okay, this is like just notes on like what I should do. When I go through, there's things that I'm not gonna memorize right away and I will need to work at a bunch, such as memorizing amino acids and like primary structures. These are things that I need to go in and it's my cheat sheet and by the end of it I will like probably have some of it memorized because I've used it so much um, or I will go in and like really study especially the amino acids i've been literally putting that off for like three weeks this is a list of things kind of same vibes that i should like make sure i'm focusing on for my practice problems because uh, i didn't get time to like do it in the days when i would do content review all these in here all the content that i bought so kaplan amc U world um like my must review more kaplan tests and then one, two, three, four, five, six are the six Kaplan books that I have been using and the notes. So today I'm doing Gen Chem um, and it's literally just this. And then in here I have practice. So I have um, the MCAT, like Khan Academy stuff. And then I have my U World, which is open. And then I do cars every day. So I have a little cars tab. Um, yeah, like cars is difficult. There are some times where like I will be getting like it's definitely gotten a lot better but like what is that you know like sometimes you have streaks there's good times and there's bad times and so far it's bad times but we're working on getting more good times you know um, what I've learned with cars is I just need to like take it slow and then when I need to I will be s slowly getting faster and faster but they do take me a while right now but yeah this is the AMC question Stuff. there's like a lot of things that come in that bundle so I would definitely recommend you get that I watch Khan Academy worked examples so they have a bunch um, and this comes from like this homepage I think it's like that but it's not like that um, there's a lot so I like will watch what if I'm having like a worse day to internalize how it works because again they made this with AMC so I am like gonna internalize their rationale for answering questions and then I will go to the practice problems, do it how they show me in the video. Um, yeah, like I think cars is really just practice. Thank you guys for watching. Um, before I wrapped up the video, I did want to show you guys what my exam crackers books and my Kaplan books looks like. The Kaplan books look like. One sec. Oh, I want to show this to you in one go. I don't think this is gonna go very well. But these are the books. I'm literally out of breath. I'm carrying them. I'm not gonna lie to you, I've barely opened my exam crackers books. Um, but I do plan on doing more practice problems from there, especially from the places that I've learned I haven't got yet from my practice tests for the next couple weeks. Kaplan books, I use a lot. I kind of showed you in the video. But there's 12 chapters in each of them. I can't wait to put these down. Ah! <laughs> okay, yeah. The Kaplan books, there's 12 chapters in each of them. Discrete practice problems, practice problems at the end of each chapter. Um, 
but yeah, they were definitely good. I did find content review to be very much more of like, I need to speed through this and figure out what I know and what I don't know so that I can just like ease my anxiety of like not knowing what's coming, you know? Um, I don't think that made any sense. I just liked, I need to get through it fast so that I could figure out if there was anything that was brand new to me that I needed to be stressed about or if it was like specific topics that I needed to get better at. So that's basically what my content review is and now it's like kind of what I'm working on now through practice problems and memory mnemonics, figuring out just practicing recalling it really fast and still out of breath. Anyways, um, I hope this was useful. Um, if you want to hear more about my schedule, I can definitely do a video on that. I don't think schedules are so much universal as like content that you use to study, but again, these are all ideas. So if you would like me to do that, I definitely can. Um, I took a nice two weeks to make my beautiful schedule. So, um, and so far it's going really well. I'm a week ahead of schedule, so it's great. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you're interested in more MCAT content, because there will definitely be more going your way. Um, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Hope you guys do well in all your exams and your summer courses. I will see you guys soon.